The previous national poll had Kamala Harris leading with 50% to Donald Trump's 48%. However, the most recent polling shows Trump gaining ground and now taking the lead. With only days left until the 2024 presidential election between former President Trump and Vice President Harris, it's easy to see why Democrats are anxious, while Republicans are increasingly optimistic about Trump's chances. A quick look at battleground polling paints the picture, aside from Wisconsin, where Harris still leads, Trump is projected to take every other swing state in the coming days. For the first time in a while, since Harris became the nominee, battleground state polling suggests that Trump is on track to win the presidency. Harris's national lead, which once stretched around to 0.1 to 2.2 percent, has now dropped to less than 1.4 percent, a loss of 30 to 40 percent of her previous margin. Let's break down the current state of the battlegrounds. Arizona. Trump now leads, a state Biden won in 2020. Nevada? Trump has also gained a lead flipping another Biden state, Wisconsin. Harris still holds a lead here, but it's expected to narrow. Michigan? Trump has taken the lead flipping yet another Biden won state, Pennsylvania. Trump is currently leading, although Biden won this state in 2020. North Carolina? Trump retains a small lead, as he did in 2020. Georgia? Trump is ahead in this key state, which Biden won in 2020. As far as the Electoral College is concerned, starting with the 2020 results and flipping the states Trump now leads Arizona, Nevada, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Georgia he would secure 302 electoral votes, compared to Harris's 236, giving Trump the win and a second non-consecutive term. That said, this race is tighter than 2020. If Harris can hold onto Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Nevada, she could still win, but her margin would be smaller than Biden's in 2020. Based on current polling averages, though, Harris would lose, and Trump would win. Most importantly, many of these battleground states are expected to be decided by less than one point. The election may ultimately hinge on razor-thin margins in critical states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada. In other words, the outcome is likely to be determined by a difference of a single point in three to five states. Both candidates are back on the campaign trail. Harris is holding events in Wisconsin, a crucial battleground state. Meanwhile, Trump gave a scathing roast at the Al Smith dinner, where he mocked Harris for becoming the first nominee since 1984 to skip the event, calling her a coward who lacks a sense of humor. With such a close race, and so little time left, both candidates are pushing hard in the final stretch. It's clear this election will come down to the wire in multiple key states, 